What is up, bros and brorettes? I'm Slasher 44 and I have huge, monstrous, massive Call of Duty news for you guys today. As you guys probably already know, today is E3, and with E3 comes a lot of video game news and a lot of Call of Duty news. So if you're interested in any single game but Call of Duty, link in the description for my second channel. I'm literally doing an overview of every single press conference at E3, looking at every single video game. So check that link out in the description if you're interested in any game but COD. But this channel is for COD, and like I said, I have some huge news. I've actually taken the day off to get this news out for you because I knew there was going to be a lot of Call of Duty news coming. And I literally think I am the first person to get this up on YouTube. So if you could give me a like for that, that would be super, super greatly appreciated. But let's get into it. The exclusivity deal between Xbox and Call of Duty is no longer there. There will no longer be early DLC on Xbox, and a lot of things led up to this, and a one really, really big thing made the final decision that showed that there is no longer an exclusivity deal. So let's get into looking at this. So the first thing actually came out when they were setting up for E3. As you can see here on the screen, the top banner is from this year's E3. There is no banner underneath like the bottom screen was last year's E3. So for Advanced Warfare, as you can see, there's the Xbox decals on the poster. Whereas for Black Ops, no more Xbox decals and no PlayStation decals either. That was really, really big. We don't know whether they just gave up that poster this year or not. But still, it was a little bit of a hint. Then the huge hint came today. When, during Xbox's press conference. For every single year since Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty stepped up on the Xbox stage, gave a little shabeel, and said that DLC will be coming first on Xbox One and Xbox 360. This year, not there. No one stepped up on stage, no one came out and said that, which means the exclusivity deal is over. If it wasn't, I guarantee you they would be on that stage. Now, the big question comes, is, is there going to be an exclusivity deal between PlayStation and Call of Duty, and I really, really believe there is not, because first of all, that poster that I showed you, no PlayStation decals on there. Second of all, they tweeted this yesterday. Two days until the official start of E3 2015, RT, if you're ready to see some hands-on Black Ops 3 multiplayer. Two days. This came out on Sunday. This tweet came out on Sunday, but we know E3, the press conferences, are on the Monday. If they were coming out for a press conference, they would have said one day. Not two, they would have said one day, and they didn't, which means that they aren't coming out for any press conference, they are just going to be on the show floor of E3, which means there is no exclusivity deal. That means DLC is going to be coming to Xbox and PlayStation and PC for the first time ever since Modern Warfare 2. That is excellent. That is awesome. Everyone's going to be focused on the DLC at the same time. I think this is the best Call of Duty news we have got so far. So, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you psyched for Black Ops 3? I'm going to have lots more Black Ops 3 multiplayer news coming to you this week throughout E3, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, reset!